Salam friends, some tips and tricks. Let's start without any delay. <laughs> Intro and music. Everyone knows about spot healing brush tool. We work a lot with this tool. Spot healing as its name. There's an image has scars and pimples. Usually when we work with spot healing tool. It doesn't work on big scars nicely. I am trying. Need to click again and again. There are dark scars and white pimples. It is removing them but, look at skin texture, it is destructive for it, looks bad. So what we have to do with it? Actually we haven't target dark or light spots. We didn't target we want to deal with dark or light spots. How we can target these spots? Going to delete this layer and create a duplicate layer again. When we select brush, it has mode. By default it is normal. If we need to target dark spots, we have to select lighten. Now we still target dark spots. It has gone with one click and protect skin texture. Targeting dark spots. We can see a lightened pimple under mouse pointer. It won't remove if I click on it. We have to select darken for light spots. Click on it and watch, it has gone from lightened spots. We can remove all spots from lightened area. And same time it will protect skin texture. Nothing will happen on dark area because I select darken mode. Need to select lighten mode for dark area spots. It is non-destructive. And skin texture will remain safe. Anywhere in dark area with spot healing brush tool. This was a tip whenever we have to target dark or light area. Select darken or lighten mode. Now select darken to target lighten area. And it will protect skin texture as well. There is no effect on skin texture while I am healing it. Select lighten and it will target dark spots and remove them. Skin will remain protected and we won't see dead skin. We can remove dead skin and bring back skin texture. If I give a stroke on this dark area, it is destructive because lighten mode is selected. And if I select darken mode, and stroke on this area, It removes lightened spots but protect dark skin area. This was a tip about spot heal brush tool. Work with this tool according to its modes. It will more effective and give good results. Second tip going to share about this text. We give effects on text often. Sometime we use texture for effect. There is a texture. If I clip this texture on text layer. Press Alt and watch shape of mouse pointer. It mean it will clip this layer. Effect of texture is only on text layer. Text color is light blue. We want to keep dark texture. And remove lighten texture. Actually we want to reveal blue color of text. 
we will open blending options for texture layer. Gray is selected by default in blend if. Blend if based on the luminosity of layer. Dark texture will remove if I move dark slider to right. But I want to keep dark. And want to remove lighten texture from text. Move slider to left side. And it will reveal blue color of text. And then click OK. So, we kept dark texture on text and remove lighten texture from text. This is another tip I want to share with you. Now next tip and there is a scenery. A rectangular shape and a text. If we cut the text and make it see through. Usually we select text by pressing control. Selection of text is there. And make a mask on rectangular shape layer. So we got the result. But, unfortunately this layer with mask is destructive. We can't apply any effect on it. We have to do something else. So we can apply any effect. Going to delete mask. Select both layer and create a group. Open blending options for text layer. We can see knockout is none by default. Select shallow. Nothing happens. But if I reduce fill opacity to zero. Now scenery behind text appears. It's see through now. Hit OK. We knock out the text. We did this in blending options. Knock out shallow. Now if we want bevel and emboss or drop shadow on text. We can apply. What we did before. We can't. But now we can see through text with effects. Text will highlight if we apply drop shadow. We can see background through text. Text is knockout. Removing drop shadow. It was destructive what we did before. We can't apply effect on mask. Suppose take these layers out of group. Press Ctrl and click on text layer. It will make selection. And then select layer of rectangular shape and press Alt and create a mask. So we got result. We can't apply any effect here as we applied on text with knockout. We can't apply bevel and emboss, it is affecting mask. Knockout way is better to make text see through. Going to delete mask ANS select both layers. And create a group.
and on text layer select shallow in knockout and fill opacity 0 it effect on text not on mask Disable rectangular shape layer and apply any effect on text. This is way we can make our text see through. These three tips for today. So till next tips. Allah Hafiz.